after we have exported an After Effects file and we're ready to add some music, we need to bring it into Media Composer. And Avid Media Composer, um, if you go under Applications and look for this little icon right there with the purple square and then the film strip, you go ahead and click on that. And you should get a window that looks something like this. First thing you want to do is you need to tell it where you're putting all your files. And for you folks, you're going to either put it on the server or under your project folder. At this point, you should know where that is. So go ahead and click on that. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And I'm putting my project directory right on my desktop because I'm not working off of a server. And I have project one. And that's just simply telling it where you're putting all the files. And I'm going to now tell it that I am naming a new project. And for this one, I'd like everybody to call it their first and last name, and then project one. Make sure that it is in 1080p 2997. Go ahead and hit OK. And then you should hit OK. Now, I, I've used this a few times, so it's set up to my own personal settings. If you have windows that are up like this, I just suggest you go up to Windows, Workspace, make sure it's on Source and Recording. And that's going to keep things pretty simple for you. Essentially, what you're going to do is you're going to have an area where you're going to have all your project files and your project bins. Um, on the left, you're going to have a source monitor, and that's basically like a preview of all your video files. And then to your right, what you're going to have is all the assembled clips, or it's basically what's represented on the timeline. For this, I, I have a bin already created. And you need to open that up before you start importing files. So I'm going to go to File. And instead of doing Import, I'm doing this thing that Media Composer does. It's called AMA Link. And what that allows you to do is link files to your project bin without having to import them or transcode it. And it's a pretty nifty thing that allows you to bring in files pretty fast. And it doesn't take too much time. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to do my AMA Link. And again, I have all my stuff on the desktop under Project 1. I'm going to take Whimsical Journey, that's a, a song or something. And then I am holding down my Command key and I'm bringing in my motion graphics. I have an MPEG-4. You folks should have a QuickTime movie. I'm going to go ahead and open that. Hopefully there's no problems with that. And then what's going to happen is I have these two clips up here, and they're going to be in list form. You're going to see a little film strip, and then you may see a little waveform. So the film strip obviously is something visual, and the waveform is your audio. What you're going to do is you're going to double click on the film strip. And what that does is it brings it up in the source monitor. And if you can see, now I, I have my motion graphics there. And all I'm going to do is on my keyboard, I'm going to hit V. Now, the other thing that you can do is also you can click on this little icon right here and it's splice in. And it does the same thing. So I'm hitting V on my keyboard. Now below it, I have two audio clips. Audio 1, Audio 2, that allows for a stereo sound. And what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to take my icon right here, this music, and I'm simply going to drag it down. But here's the thing that I'm going to do. If I just drag it down, it's, it just sort of goes all over the place. But what I'm going to do is hit the Command key, and what that does is it snaps to the beginning. And that's what I want it to do.
Now you'll see at the bottom that I have too much music, right? It goes right to the very end of my clip. What I need to do is I need to trim that off. And the way that I can do that is hit the Command key. I'm going to snap my playhead right to the end there. I'm dragging it over. And then I'm simply going over to this icon right here. It's called the Add Edit. And it works like if, if you've worked in Final Cut Pro or Premiere, they in Premiere, I think it's the Razor tool. In Final Cut Pro, it's called the Blade tool. You simply click on that. And you'll notice that it goes ahead, it, it splits that clip. And now what we can do is we can select that clip and simply hit delete. And now we should have something. Now, um, there are a couple more things that I'd like you to do with that. Um, lastly, what you're going to do is you're going to add a transition. And the way that you do that is you're going to click on this little guy right here. That's where your effects are. And you're going to click on Blend. And you're going to do this thing where you dissolve. But on this, it's called Fade from Color. <clears throat> I'm simply going to grab that. And basically what this is going to do is it's going to add a nice little fade at the beginning. So I'm going to click on that. And it's going to fade in slowly. All right. And then, at the end, what I want to do is I want to grab on this, this guy right here. And it's fade to color. And I'm going to grab that and throw that on the end. Oh, it's giving me a little bit of a problem. So I'm selecting it. And then it should go to the end. And that will also fade. After I'm happy with what I've done on this timeline, I'm simply going to go up to File, Export. And what I want to do is, there's this thing in here. I want to send to QuickTime Movie or send to QT Movie. I'm going to click on Options, and I, I have it as QuickTime Movie, but I also want to go over to here to Format Options, and click on Settings, and then under Compression Type, I have all these sort of selections. What we're going to use is H.264, and what that does is it makes the file pretty small, and it makes it so it works well on the web. Not only that, you can actually use this this codec for for broadcast too. I've actually used this quite a bit on um, on both cable and al also just uh, your, your, your networks. So H.264 is an acceptable codec to do with those. So after you've done that, just keep the current frame rate, keyframes every. Uh, Sometimes I even go in between medium and high. On this one, I'm just going to go to high. Um, and I'm going to do a multi-pass. And data rate, automatic. And I'm just going to hit OK. Sound settings. I'm going to go ahead and click on set sound. I just tend to leave it at linear PCM. I know some people will do AAC which is fine as well. And I'm going to keep the rate the same. I'm going to keep all the settings the same. I'm not preparing for internet streaming. <clears throat> I'm going to want to make sure that my height and my width are 1920 by 1080. 16 by 9 square pixels. Uh, I'm keeping the color level 601, 709. Again, 16.9 square pixels. And then I'm simply clicking Save. Now I, I want to know where that's going. And I'm going to name that Tim Willette Project 1.mob. 
And I'm going to put that in project one. And I'm going to hit save. And that's basically it. That's how you go ahead and export your After Effects movie um, with Media Composer.